Okay, if you take a look at this, um, let's assume we do not know anything about uh, Arduino. We don't have uh, the kits. Basically, uh, Thinker, uh, Thinkercad, uh, you know, created this tool. It's online tool to uh, design mm -hmm. your uh, circuit and then you can simulate the code so you can see it running every student uh, i send him a code he can go to the link here and uh, put his username and uh, you know the code i provided once you are there you go to your left side there is a place where it said circuits okay you click on it as i did here once you click on it you know, you are going to say, hey, create a new circuit. Okay. Uh, okay. This is a new circuit. You can start with basic. You can start with, uh, you know, so many things. What we are going to choose, we are going to choose an Arduino. Okay. So we, we this is an Arduino. Okay, perfect. And then uh, we have to understand a couple things about this Arduino. So we don't have to... Uh, worry much about it later on usually this is the uh, the arduino board this is the microcontroller okay the microcontroller mm -hmm. where it is like it is the cpu where i put my uh, pr you know where my program is gonna go to you know this cpu is gonna execute the program based on you in the prog based on your program is gonna you know give you certain output so it's gonna monitor your inputs and based on your program is gonna you know control your outputs uh, the microcontroller has several things i discussed this later uh, you know previously and later on we might use some of them it has some digital inputs output and it has some uh, you know analog um, uh, you know pins uh, those pins here as you can see we can program them Okay, we can program them. Yes. So when you see this GND, that means it's a ground. To us, this is, can be used as zero. Uh, the other pins, I can program them. I can make it always positive. I can make it blinking. I can use it for other utilities. But for the time being, let's start with something very simple. And before, you have to keep in mind, you know, uh, you know two things this button here to reset the program inside the microcontroller okay if it's usually if you have a, pro a problem or, or you want to uh, flush it out and uh, the other one is the microcontroller like any other electronics it needs uh, power in this simulation yes. we don't care about power because it's a simulation but how usually this microcontroller get power from this okay usually this one here it goes back to your uh, battery, you know, or it goes back to your laptop USB, which is going to provide this with the needed power. Any questions so far? No. Okay, perfect. Now, let's uh, say we want to create LED, you know, blinking LED. How are we going to do it? Yeah. I want now to create, uh, you know, a blinking we LED. What do I need? Basically, first of all, we need LED. So we go see and, you know, we check yeah. here if we check have it, any LED stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. It was here. Yeah, LED. So this is an LED. Okay. So you can uh, call it whatever you want to call it. Do you have to keep in mind LED? They, uh, you know, uh, they got burned if you don't have enough you know, resistor, you know, before, uh, before the anode. Okay. This is the anode, which is the positive, And this is the cathode, which is the, the negative. Okay. So the anode goes all the way to the positive and the uh, cathode goes all the way to uh, the negative. We said, uh, you know, in our microcontroller, GND means negative. the ground here is a negative. And also you can see it here. Those are always giving me, if you know, if I take a look at this, this always mm. gives me five volt, five volt. Okay. So whether uh, whatever, what, no matter what's the program, we're going to use, this is always five volt. 
Sometimes, no, I need that 5 volt to be 0, 0.5, 0, 0.5. When it is 0, 0.5, that means I'm getting on, off, okay? 0 for off, on means 5 volt. How I'm going to do that, I have to use, I have to program a pen. Okay, we are going to show you some stuff here. So let's say now I got this LED. Now what do I need to get? Resistor to protect my... Resistor. Okay, to protect my uh, LED. So to this is my the resistor. LED to... Yeah. Okay, so this is my resistor. The resistor mm -hmm. usually they have a uh, code, okay? Every one of this, you know, it, it means something. You know, later on we'll discuss this in other, um, in other, uh, you know, lessons. So, so we know how many arms this resistor. Program the bar. Yeah, we'll show you later on the the chart, and uh, we can easily get it. It's very simple. So this is the our LED. Okay, this is our LED. This is the resistor. The resistor is just before the uh, anode. Before you know the mm -hmm. anode to protect anode our added. LED. Now, can I make this run? The anode, it's the positive. Yeah. Can I make this run without a microcontroller? For sure. You know. Uh, no. As a matter of fact, uh, they gave us uh, some uh, circuits. You know, you can see them running. Example. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this simple one. Okay. We can always make mm -hmm. this run. Okay. This is very easy. You know, same thing, this does not need any, does not require much programming. Why? Because it's very straightforward. Okay, it's very straightforward. You have a switch, you turn it on, off. No, I want something I can program. So, why I need a microcontroller? Because I need to control things based on my, uh, you know, op my, uh, my design, my needs, okay? So to me, this is very simple. You turn this on, the LED will be on. You turn this off, this will be off. Okay, to me, this is not much, okay? So I, d I don't want this. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go back to the Arduino. We said the Arduino always giving me positive. Let's check it out. Here in those, uh, in this port, this port here, it's always giving me what we said, one of the pins always giving me uh, positive stuff. So I'm going to go. Um, this is, this is here. Okay. Hi. Okay. This is the positive or negative? I'm going to show it to you, but uh, I have a problem with my uh, and, you know, this screen resolution. Okay, perfect. Now I got them here. Okay, good. Now let's do our idea so now if i take this led i put it here and this is my resistor now i want to connect this to the positive 5 volt okay and then i will connect the negative cathode to the what i'm sorry for this okay so can we run this we go to start simulation you can see it always on. Okay? This is very easy. Yeah. So now you tell me, hey, yeah. no, I want to I want this LED, which is now on. Okay. I want it to blink. I want it to be on off like a Christmas tree. What should I do? We say, okay, you know what? You should not be here in the first position. We have to go back and use a programmable what we have to use a programmable port. So we are going to select pin number 13. So how are we going to do this? Very easy. You know, resistor to the anode. Then I take the resistor and put it on the 13. Okay, pin number 13. And this negative goes to the negative. Okay. Now, if you go do your simulation, what's going to happen? Nothing. Why? Because, because we don't have any controller. Because, oh, here. Okay. okay. Because okay. there is a code behind it. Okay. Without any code, okay, this will start blinking the same interval of time. So pin 13 is going to be, you know, uh, giving you a blinking voltage, a blinking sing uh, signal. 
but to me this is too fast so what should I do I have to program it and I can either make it five seconds ten seconds five seconds in order to blink to uh, control the blinking if I take this and put it in pin 12 okay what will happen stop the simulation okay and start the simulation what will happen nothing is happening yeah because right. why because pin 12 is not designed by default for a blinking but this one here it is okay mm. this one here it is so when i run the simulation okay it's gonna blink but b based on their default not the way i want it to blink so can i program pin 13 yes it's piece of cake how you go to the code we don't use we don't want to use blocks okay we want to use something little bit more interesting which we call it uh, text okay basically this text is very similar to c language always always in the beginning of the program you use void setup okay and i'm telling them hey you know those pins or i'm telling the microcontroller pin 13 i need it to be what output that means i'm gonna send a signal to pin 13 okay after i do this setup i do it mm -hmm. once i create something in c language i call it void loop void loop that means every time the program is running is gonna keep looping so it's always gonna do this then the second time is gonna go and do it again 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 it's gonna keep what looping okay all these uh, functions you don't have to worry about because usually those are libraries I call it and then I paste it here so in the reality there is no real programming in this stage for us guys we just have to know how where to put the code and understand the code if you want to be later on more creative you want to create your own library that's a different story but at this stage you know which is very simple you know um, experiment the code is already ready it is ready for you the only thing you have to do is just copy paste the code and tweak it a little bit this is the best way to learn programming language to to start modifying the logic you know so you get familiar with the logic later on you go into more advanced levels so now if i want to read this we have digital right right what does right mean here i'm sending a signal Sorry. so digital right here that means i'm sending a signal to pin number 13. this signal is high this is our delay they are telling us it is a millisecond okay it's a millisecond after whatever uh, after every 1000 milliseconds that means after one second you turn it off so it is on off every one milli one thousand millisecond or one second so let's see this again okay let's run the code okay here we go see it so now i I don't like this I want to make it every five seconds so I want to make it go uh, you know turn off low low means off we said low means off means zero oh, no, sir. okay so yeah. let's now run this again it is on see now it's taken five seconds off then on do you see it okay on then one two three four five seconds voila so you tell me hey i don't want it every five seconds i want it on for five seconds okay stop the simulation i want it on for five seconds then i want i want it uh, you know off only for one second which is 1000 milliseconds okay we agreed on that so let's start simulation see five seconds off five seconds on so now you can see you can understand 
what's the uh, you know advantage of having a microcontroller you know if something you want to do it uh, the same thing every time i don't care about my controller like turning uh, you know uh, you know uh, a switch on when you go to a room and then get out you turn it off by yourself and you are not bothered by uh, you know automating it okay fine but sometimes no based on the input i want to change the output i want to do certain you know activities certain events here we have to use the microcontroller or something similar to it and this is the advantage of programming okay one one of the advantages of programming i hope that was uh, helpful for you guys uh if you want we can test something else you know in a quick way we can let's say say i want to have this pin 12 okay i don't want it 13 so now let's make it a 12 Okay, if, if it is pin 12, then I have to write digital right to where? To pin 12 as well. And this has to be pin 12. Yeah. If you check my circuit, I ha I'm, I'm using pin 13. It's going to be good for me. Let's try it. Nothing will, you know, nothing is going to be hurt here. Okay, no. It's not going to hurt. Indeed, nothing uh, function. Why? See, this is not on. Though in my program, I'm telling it, hey, you are high. Yes, no you know, you are on for five seconds. What's the problem? The problem, I am programming, I'm programming pin 12, pin not 13. 12. So I have to move this to pin 12. Now let's now try yeah. the simulation. Here we go. Okay? Yeah. By that, you know, our experiment for today yeah. is done. I hope yes. you enjoy it. Uh, hopefully, we can do something else uh, later on. Yes. Take care.